Hi guys, welcome back to Guru Beauty. I'm Jodi and wanted to share with you some products that I picked up on a trip to America earlier on this year. And the drugstore product haul has been requested quite a bit, so I wanted to show you what I got from Target, from Ulta. So here goes. First of all, the items that I picked up from Target. I picked up quite a few different things from Target. I bought some hair accessories. These ones I first saw on Dolce Candy's channel, I think is her name. I'll post a link to her channel down below. But and there's two headbands that that's sold here by Goody. They're called the Double Wear Head Wraps, and it also says that it's a necklace, a two-in-one. They're just black elastic. They go all the way around the head, and they sell one silver and one gold. And they look just really pretty. You've just got that little strip of metal on the top. Really, really pretty. So you can see just there, you can wear them together, you can wear them on their own or as a necklace there. Also from Goody, I picked up some more of their just little clips from the Goody Classics range, little barrettes. And then lastly, some more spin pins. Spin pin mini is what these ones are. I got them in the ones dark hair, and I like the fact that there's three of them. Selling them as a trio. These help you make a messy tight bun, and you can see here on the front how they recommend using them. Basically, you just sort of twist your hair into a bun, and then you screw these basically, they're screws. You screw the screws in, and it obviously captures and holds your hair. These give you more of a messy bun compared with like the donut bun makers and these also have been launched in Australia. I did spot these being sold as a three pack from a different brand in Pricelines. I'll just include a picture here of that brand that I found at Priceline recently if you want to get your hands on these. Also from Target I picked up just a really cheap watch. This would have been less than 10 bucks but I loved the fact that it was turquoise. You could wear that with an all black outfit in the summertime with an all white outfit or with this color blocking really with any color. If you had a yellow top or a nice peach top, tangerine, this color would go really nicely to contrast with that. I did pick up a little mini size of this super rich body butter from Yester Carrots. Oh, it just smells really, really yummy. So I hear great things about Yester Carrots. This is one thing that we could get in Australia, I'm sure of it. And I just wanted to give that one a shot for my legs. I did also pick up a few of Maybelline's Dream bouncy blushes. So these were all the rage when I was over there uh, back in April. I got the one in peach satin. I got the one in candy coral and also the one in hot tamale. These are the three shades here. We've got the peach satin, the coral candy and the hot tamale which is just you know a more vibrant pink. Beautiful shades. You can see that they'd be quite subtle and quite blended quite well on the cheeks. I did also pick up a little travel kit from Bumble and Bumble. It's a lot cheaper there in America from Target than what we pay here at Mecca Cosmetica. So this Bumble and Bumble pack has the creme de coco shampoo, conditioner, and the styling cream and styling lotions. I really haven't used much Bumble and Bumble at all ever so looking forward to giving those a try and seeing what I think of those. And then I picked up a couple of these Superstay 14 hour lipsticks from Maybelline. These are available in Australia now. They weren't at the time, but I picked up a color that was the same as the one that Amy gave me at iMats, which just shows how she knows my taste exactly. The two colors that I got are beige for good and never ending nude. And this here is them swatched on my hand. We've got the beige for good and the never ending nude. Really looking forward to seeing if they last a little bit longer. I wouldn't expect a 14 hour wear on them. Unfortunately, these cosmetic companies test the durability of their products under strange circumstances or on strange supermodels that have strange superpowers of keeping their makeup for much longer than any normal human being. So while I wouldn't expect those to last 14 hours, hopefully they would be able to provide a little bit more longer wear than just your regular everyday type lipsticks. I did also pick up a three-in-one concealer for eyes from Neutrogena. We really don't have Neutrogena cosmetics here in Australia. It's unfortunate, but I have heard great things about this. It's SPF 20 concealer, eye cream and sun protection. It instantly reduces the look of dark circles and puffiness. Now also Target in America carries Gemma Kid and I picked this one up, the Mannequin Skin Complexion Enhancer. The Mannequin Skin Complexion Enhancer I think comes in a few different colours. I got the one in 01 canvas and I just thought it was absolutely gorgeous. So it comes in a little black tube like this and it's just another one of those sort of radiance enhancing 
products. So I don't have natural sunlight in the room right now, but you can see obviously that it adds a sheen to the skin. I do not see any glitter or shimmer that may show up in direct sunlight. I'm not sure, but I just thought that would be beautiful for the cheekbones. And I did also pick up a couple of the Maybelline baby lips. The ones that are available in America, they do have some kind of color coverage and lovely fruity flavors as well. So the two that I got were Peach Kiss and Grapevine. Peach Kiss just gives a really, really natural peach sheen. I'm sure it probably doesn't translate very well to the lips, but that's it just there. And then Grapevine is a darker color in the tube and does definitely have a little bit more of a plum color. You can see just up there. That would certainly enhance your natural lip shade. I also picked up a product from Physicians Formula. This is one that I have not seen, I don't think, in Priceline yet, but I love Physicians Formula. It's fantastic. I think this one is new, at least the packaging says so. It's their three-in-one youthful wear cosmeceutical youth boosting concealer. So they have these available in different shades. I had a hard time deciding which one I should get. And these ones certainly did not have any testers available. So the three-in-one for this product refers to the fact that they have have a stick concealer then you are supposed to use this rollerball which doesn't dispense any product but this rollerball is meant to blend I'm already not a huge fan of the idea of that and then they also have as the number three a also a liquid formulation that is supposed to I think help brighten and they call that a yellow cream so they say that this offers a complete concealing solution that combines two concealers and a professional blending tool to deliver flawless coverage high performance formulas help undo the visible signs of aging restoring firmness and elasticity and improving skin's appearance instantly and long term they're quite some claims the yellow cream color corrects dark under eye circles and blends easily for lightweight buildable coverage and then the cream stick the light stick can be used on any imperfection for line smoothing fuller coverage so they say that this can help you look up to 10 years younger instantly 100% saw less deep wrinkles and fine lines instantly 94% saw lifted and firmer looking skin after three weeks 100% of women would use youthful wear as an alternative to a cosmetic procedure that would be an interesting study to read. 95% felt their under eye circles and puffiness seemed to disappear instantly. So the directions are to apply the yellow cream under the eyes to correct dark circles or on any bluish imperfection. Gently blend with the rollerball or fingertip and then cover the yellow with light or use the light, which is the, the stick alone, on any imperfection and blend as needed. And I got this one in the shade light plus yellow. So I picked up four shades also from the L'Oreal 24 hour infallible eyeshadow range. For some reason, the shades that are marketed in Australia are completely different to the ones that are in America. I'm not sure whether the UK gets the American ones or the same as Australia, but I got four of these shades from the American range and I have not seen these in stores in Australia. I've got Iced Latte here, Eternal Sunshine, and then Amber Rush and Sultry smoke. So you can see the four colors here. All of them are shimmery except for the sultry smoke which is a matte. So we've got the iced latte, eternal sunshine, amber rush and sultry smoke there. So we've got a whitey more pearl color, a light goldy, more of a sort of pinky coppery shade and then that nice bluey gray sultry smoke there. I love these shadows. They're absolutely beautiful. Really nice alone. They blend really well together. I think they're fantastic eyeshadows from the drugstore. So I was really happy to pick up some more shades that we aren't getting in Australia. Then a, another place that I had to hit while I was over there because I so miss my Yankee candles. I used to have a membership to them where every month you would get a new large jar and I loved my Yankee candles so so much. I did not want to pack any Yankee candles in the glass packaging simply because I did not want to go through the pain of finding broken glass. I ended up buying a few other items from Yankee. I love their room sprays. They're just so beautiful and effective and strong with one really quick squirt you can just make a room smell absolutely delightful i got the lemon lavender which is my all-time favorite scent from their candle range i also picked up midsummer's night which always reminds me of like a men's cologne 
I also picked up one in Kitchen Spice. America and Yankee Candle, they just celebrate fall in a whole special way that you'll never see in Australia. And they just have so many lovely apple spice cinnamon pumpkin scents that they'll always remind me of our eight years living over there and all the Halloweens that we have with our babies and wonderful celebrations that you have in the fall over there. So the Kitchen Spice certainly reminded me of that and visiting the pumpkin patch and all of that. I got Home Sweet Home, which is another one of those cinnamony really lovely kind of wintry type scents and then the last room spray I got was in black cherry and that is one of my favorite candle scents as well from their range so rather than going through the pain of opening up a smashed Yankee Candle glass jar in my luggage I thought that they would be a safer option to pack and they did not seem to leak in my luggage so I was very happy about that then on to Ulta. I picked up some drugstore products from Ulta and then also some higher end products from Ulta. So I'll start with the drugstore and I'll finish up with the higher end. Actually looking at it now I didn't get a whole lot of drugstore from Ulta but I'll show you what I did get from Ulta anyway. So one of my favourite products for removing my eye makeup at night has been the Almay oil-free eye makeup remover wipes and they normally come in a large jar like this but Ulta had this fantastic little travel friendly size and I had to pick that up. I'm usually transferring a week's worth into another container like an old mineral powder container to take with me for travel but finally I have my own little Almay one with its own label so I was really excited to see those. I did pick up a few products from Wet n Wild while I was there. I did pick up three of these Wet n Wild Color Icon single eye shadows in the shade brulee. They're fantastic for a highlight or for just a sweep of powder all over before you get started blending your color shadows over the top of that. It just makes a really nice base as a beautiful matte cream color eyeshadow. I love that eyeshadow. I also did pick up a, another wet and wild comfort zone, probably the best seller of those eight pan palettes. Beautiful colors, some really lovely MAC dupes as well. Had to pick that up. And then also I've heard a lot about this shade Mellow Wine from the Wet n Wild Color Icon blush a range. I did pick up a couple Revlon Brow Fantasies. People on YouTube rave about this. Tiffany D was the first one and then I see this feature on people's favourites videos all the time. The one that I have, I think I have two. I have one in maybe dark blonde and maybe one in light brown. I did have lighter hair when I purchased them but I hate them. I hate them. There's really not much that I like about them at all but because they're raved about so much I decided maybe it's just because I have them in the wrong shade and I'll like the darker ones a lot better now that my hair is darker. So I picked up a Revlon Brow Fantasy in Brunette, the 105, and also in the dark brown, the 106. And this is the last chance that I'll be giving the Revlon Brow <laughs> Fantasies for sure. We don't get these in Australia. I'm not sure why, but I like the fact that they do come in a pencil and then the tinted gel as well so really great for travel but the lid always comes off the pencil I find that really frustrating so I don't think the packaging is fantastic but we'll give it another shot and then a word of warning for anyone who wants to fly over or if you're doing a swap and you ask for the Zoya nail polish remover I did get this one from Ulta I love it it's definitely my favorite nail polish remover it's beautiful not to mention the packaging it comes in one of those beautiful push tops which you can lock and unlock but you just put your cotton pad on top and pump it down and you get the product so you don't have to tip it up and risk spilling and all of that love it but it's just not travel safe and it basically ate away all the lip pencils. These aren't all the lip pencils that I picked up from Ulta but I can't even get the lid off them. It's like this nail polish remover, um, the chemicals in it sort of just seals everything. So the lid is sealed, it takes off all the paint, it looks like a dog's gotten hold of my lip pencil but this is one that I got from Rimmel. It's the 1000 Kisses Stay On Lip Contouring Pencil in the 049 Natural. It's a shade that we don't have on the Australian market and when I saw this for the first time on Nobexo uh, two years ago it looked beautiful. I think she was wearing this pencil with the Steeler lip glaze in banana and ever since I was on the hunt for banana which I have since found and this lip shade from Rimmel. So not in Australia but do not 
fly with your Zoya nail polish remover. It's a beautiful remover, but it's just not worth it. And there is sites that you can order from, from within Australia. I picked up some more Real Techniques brushes. This was back in April before I discovered iHerb and before they were available to Priceline. I picked up a spare stippling brush from Ulta and I did pick up some spare blush brushes as well. I love these blush brushes. They're absolutely beautiful and they're like $8.95 in America, which is a whole lot less than the $23 that we're being asked to pay in Australia. I will post my code to iHerb.com down below. They ask you to pay US retail prices. They ship extremely fast. I ordered mine on a Friday, got mine here to Perth on a Monday, like three days later. But you'll definitely get it in probably less than a week to Australia. And I have a code down below that you can use for $5 off your purchase. Definitely recommend iHerb.com. I did also pick up a few spare NYX Jumbo Eye Pencils in Milk. They're just a fantastic color base when you're doing a nice colorful eye. And then the higher end, higher priced items that I got from Ulta involved some Brush Lab brushes. These are pure ceramic technology, smooth heat resistant nylon bristles. They get a really good grip. I got them in two different sizes. Lisa Lisa D1 really loves these brushes from Brush Lab. So I thought I'd give those a try. I always blow dry with a round brush so I thought that would be fantastic and then also from Redken I think Ulta had a deal on Redken at the time I got their Fashion Work 12 versatile working spray in an enormous container and then this is the Kenra volume spray that you hear Lisa Lisa D1 rave about as well this is um, a winner from the Stylist Choice Awards 2011 beautiful hairspray apparently so looking forward to giving that one a try and I did also get a Kenra styling spray I think or heat protectant or heat activated spray which is already in my bathroom and I'm really enjoying that one as well picked up a kit from Cargo as well from Ulta and this is their fresh face complexion kit I love 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 their blu-ray pressed powder that I use as a touch-up it really gives great coverage if you want extra coverage it includes a full size of that Cargo blu-ray HD powder also a full size of their one base concealer and foundation in one that I wanted to give a try of and also a travel size of their bronzer and also their activating face primer. We don't get cargo in Australia and I love that brand. It really is fantastic. Also Smashbox had a really nice kit at Ulta. This is called the Beauty Exposed. This one I paid $39 for. Can you imagine that in Australia paying $39 for this? There is a five pan eyeshadow, a lovely lip gloss, an eyeliner, a blush, and a photo finish primer. I've used Smashbox's primers before. I don't love them. The eyeliner is in stone, the blush rush is in peony, and the lip enhancing gloss is in star fruit. I just thought they were beautiful colors, and I'm really looking forward to trying this. We do get Smashbox in Australia from Kit Cosmetics, but we pay a whole lot more for it than they do in America. If you're in Australia and you do like Smashbox, I would thoroughly recommend kissandmakeupny.com, fantastic website flat rate of $9.95 shipping to Australia. They also sell Laura Mercier, Beauty Blenders and also NARS makeup. We also picked up a Zoya nail polish. I loved it. It's a beautiful cream beige colour. They didn't have a huge range in store but this is in the shade Farrah absolutely love it. You can order from a couple of websites if you do want Zoya in Australia. These go on beautifully. They last a long time. Gorgeous range of colour available. I love Zoya nail polish. Then I picked up a concealer highlighter from Lorac. It's one of those double sided ones with a stick concealer, a highlighter with a doe foot and then a blender ball. So much like the Physician's Formula one that I picked up from Target. Also I picked up one of the lip glosses from Butter London. And this is the Lippy Lip Gloss and the shade that I got is in Yummy Mummy. I love the Yummy Mummy nail polish. This is a really nice just beige lip gloss. It's a really nice neutral color that looks beautiful on its own or over any other color as well. Beautiful for a nude lip. I did get a sample size of the Lorac Tantalizer Baked Bronzer. That'll be a nice one for the summer. I also got the Lorac Unzipped Eyeshadow Palette. I love the shade range, obviously in competition with the Urban Decay Naked Palette, but really looking forward to giving that one a try. I got a trio of lip glazes from Stila. This is from their E Live from the Red Carpet Limited Edition Collection. The three lip glazes featured in there are Lights, Camera and Apple. Action. And I got a Lorac Baked Matte Satin Blush in Exposed. This is the one everyone's raving about on YouTube. A beautiful, nice, shimmery, natural pink. 
and I did get Steeler's Stay All Day 10 in 1 HD Beauty Balm. Looking forward to seeing how that compares with the other BB creams or beauty balms that I do have. Not a blemish balm, a beauty balm. And then the last item that I got from Ulta, again, was from Steeler. This is one of their eyeshadow palettes called In the Garden. It's the one in the green packaging and just beautiful shades there. Gorgeous. So that is all the products that I picked up from Target, Yankee Candle and Ulta Cosmetics as well in America. Hope that you enjoyed this haul and definitely do keep watching to see the last installments of that haul. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day and we'll see you all again really, really soon. Bye.